So, Alex.
The day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. 
Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, 
I guess it can't be too bad. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Wow. Just... wow. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business. All Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the scepter, but I think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> if you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. 
I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. 
he does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. How very small town. So, this is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. It still doesn't feel real like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. Walking Scott Street feeling like a stranger With an open heart open container I've got Wait, is that the hold list? You couldn't have curled up. I don't know, literally anywhere else? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. Emergency guitar? In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> her own radio station. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. <sighs> what do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? deep. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Nothing. Mm. 
Maybe in the junk box. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm... Pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the booth if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know... Talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know, we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. <laughs> and this dude hands me the best beers? By the way, Mac was in here earlier and, uh...
He really He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? You good? Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbs fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> I was excited to see him, too. Guess we're an almost wet-yourself kind of family. Ha! I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? 
Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. You do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe, I, thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Like old times. 
don't know. It's not that cool. I can't. It's too late. Go get him, bro. <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs> Your turn. Fine. Give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now! No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! I didn't... It's okay. This is just fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Go stop my shift. Great.
I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh God. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? Crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid.
Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, I couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no! Hey, don't! <sighs> looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe.
I hit Gabe because of this stupid mess? Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those meds had worked. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Wait, what? Is that a real live... dead deer? Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Huh. They've really changed the art style since I read these. We didn't even get to finish the song. Is that... a sword? Gabe always wanted a bike like this.
Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Falling pretty damn hard. Yeah? I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. 
It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen! Here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used Starting to Starting over from operate. scratch like this? Right. Fucking terrifying yeah, is what it is. Keep telling You're telling me. me. Takes a... Oh? You still want to hit the trails later this week? You can. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us.
Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? I was there, but, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So... You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive.
Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. I have some advice. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Is there anything this woman can't do? All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Ducky's whiskey could be one of those. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Nope, nothing. Found this upstairs, in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Miss <sighs> <sighs> Chen, 
My dad was in the service. Sounds like Ducky knows Gabe pretty well. Glad you could fill in today. Hey, Alex. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Miss Chen? My dad was in the service. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action roleplay. It's like a tabletop roleplaying game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? No, thanks. <laughs> that shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. So, you and Ryan hang out a lot? All the time. Except when he ditches me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? I saw some stuff on the walls. People here still talk about it. The tourism board wanted to I make a movie. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He's so modest, it's ridiculous. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Ryan's got better supplies. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe.
Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... What? I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it... I guess I never realized. I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. 
he wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, no one told me that. I just feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe, I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. <laughs> That's true most of the time. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's... That's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go.
Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be... I don't know... Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid, can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah, still though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Cool. A murder barn. Will we, though? Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. The real monster here is underage drinking. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? Joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Here. Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh.
Same logo. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower that's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare... building. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other. Stairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, then... That must be where Ethan's heading.
wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the- I'm no good to you with broken ankles, Ethan. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wasn't in the comic. scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Wasn't in the comic. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? I kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Heads up! the door yeah turns out you gotta open it who knew the wonders never cease Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on- Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. Thanks for nothing, giant yellow button. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike.
Far too nice, Alex. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. me. Alex, uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex. Can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! 
I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. You're wrong. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan? I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. Log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? Did you see me coming down this log? I'm super balanced. No, 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 no. I can hear it down there. Hear what? Doesn't matter. Just gotta get him out of here. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really 
scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm.
I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> And the fifth time, he cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. 
Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it.
We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? He actually kept it. that bottle made her think of it really messed her up I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her Charlotte's sculpture I wonder how she's really holding up foosball champion why would that make her so sad? find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Wanna get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. I could put on a record, if you like. Nah, not really in the mood. Maybe something else?
How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. time <laughs> okay whoa, wait let's get serious one more game winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion mm, i don't know come on you know gabe would be all about his playing like this well then it's settled <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles definitely the kind of game you want to focus on no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out.
Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... They kept it. made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. I can find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks.
Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aw, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. <sighs> we love you, Alex! <sighs> Stress sucks! <sighs> okay, fuck you. I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Well, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering.
Oh, yes! <laughs> Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I mostly dated guys before, actually. Oh yeah? Do they listen to CDs of bird calls? Because I could hook you up. <laughs> Can't say I've ever dated a bird call enthusiast before. Who's what? How convinced were you that that was gonna work? From one to ten? <laughs> like a three? Well, that's more than zero. Much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself, and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around.
kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. See? I can be a person. Thanks, Jed. R.M. and T.B. I wonder who they were.
one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. choice. He was my brother. I have to at least try. Yeah, you do. But, if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door, and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him.